you've got the Galaxy Watch 8 Classic. It's sleek, smooth, and built like a flagship. But when you open an app drawer, it's just pages of stuff that you're never gonna use. Most apps either crash or just waste your battery. So I tested dozens and narrowed it down to 10 apps that are actually useful, functional, and clean. These apps will also work on any compatible Android-based watches. Number one, Google Home. Control without reaching for your phone. Tapping smart lights, thermostats, plugs, controls, everything else can be controlled right on your wrist. You can basically have all the smart devices linked to your Google Home and you can toggle on and off, like for example, your lights or your fridge or anything else that's linked to the Google Home. Here, for example, we can see the living room. I can turn on the TV, turn off the lights, turn on the washer dryers, turn them off, control my heating, indoor heating. My thermostats are all in here. Really cool to have. So the second one is Cardiograph. This is a visual heart rate tracking, real time heart rate graph. Unlike Samsung Health, this gives you a real time graph that you can actually read. Tag sessions like workouts or resting and review your changes over time. It's reliable, quick and shows your data with context. Here you can see a visual of my heart rate in real time. Number three, the bubble level. This turns your watch into a functional leveling tool using its built-in sensors. You can double check your services. It's accurate enough to trust and it's easy to calibrate if you need it. And let's just check this box here with together. And you can see the bubbles way off right now. The X and Y axis also are a second indication of how accurate this could be. Super handy. And if you're at the construction job site too, you can actually use this. So you get this other option here where if you tilt it this way and you have something here, and for example, you want to check the level, it's way off. So it's actually vibrating here right now as the x-axis is exactly on zero. Really cool. So number four is compass. Works offline, responds really fast. Wrist rotation, compass updates, degree rotator. Definitely a good tool to have in case you're lost in the woods or something like that. I don't think it'll use too much uh, battery either. So there's another feature that it has, you can tap it and it gives you gradient mark. Number five, Simpleware is a full remote control for your phone. You can actually toggle your Wi-Fi, silent notification, control brightness, all from your watch. It works through a companion app on your phone and it responds instantly. It's good if your phone is charged, docked, or in another room. I'm gonna have a quick go at it right now. So you can choose different uh, notifications, sounds. This is the volume for the phone. This one is volume for talking. And then this one is the notification volume. You can hit flashlight remotely. So you go to apps and you can open up any apps you want. I'm going to open up calculator, for example. You hit calculator and boom. Number six is Shazam. Quick song ID on your wrist, no problem. You hit that right now and Shazam is working right now. It works well on Watch A Classic. You tap it, you play the music and it gives you the song name in seconds. There you go, Thriller popped up right away in two seconds as soon as I hit Shazam. Number seven, Google Keep. You can use your voice to create a note, create checklists, instantly, just like that. Remind me to grab milk tomorrow from Costco. There you go, add it to your Google Keep. I'll go grab milk. So number eight is Google Maps, is, which is my favorite. You can actually set it as a hotkey and you go search, Las Vegas. The vibration will tell you turn by turn, smooth, reliable, keeps your phone in the pocket. And it'll just vibrate every time you want to make a turn, it'll tell you, and you can just flick your wrist up and it'll tell you where to go. Definitely a must have. Number nine, voice recorder. You can capture audio fast. One tap recording and everything gets saved. It's really handy if you're in a meeting or in class or something like that. And you can gesture control it to record or stop recording or pause recording. This doesn't take off that much space. The recording will get saved to your internal storage of your watch and phone. You can scroll it by touching the bezel, turn up the volume. 
Number 10 is velocity. You can use this while running, skating, or biking. It tracks your GPS. It tells you what's your speed, your heart rate. This is the speed that you're going. When you're running or skating, you can see you can now go up to 120 kilometers an hour. And when you hold start, it initiates that and you're good to go. So right now it's hybrid. It's tracking your speed and your GPS location. And your heart rate also gets recorded as well. It's great for commuting and also having a backup app for tracking your speed and your heart rate as well as your GPS navigation. These 10 apps bring real utility to the Watch 8 Classic. No filler, no lag experience, just smart tools that work well on your wrist. Subscribe if that helped and I'll see you guys on the next one.